Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the IRL Century Farm Farm in Farming Sim. That's that's overly complicated. All right, we are back, and as you can see, we have made more progress on the farm you've seen from the farm build. So the farm has come along a whole lot more. We're getting more detail done now. Uh, this side of the farm is getting near finished. We have more paddocks to do out in the back, back there behind all those barns yet. And then we just have detail work to do around the farm. Uh, so like adding, you know, little detail pieces, some junk piles and things like that. So we have paddocks and uh, the junk piles here uh, for this side of the farm. And then over there yet, we technically have to do all the fencing for. But man, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm kind of... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of putting that one off a little bit, but things are coming along pretty well here so far. So we're going to get to work today. We have the 8300 connected up to our disc back here, the John Deere disc. I don't even recall which disc this is. Do we have any insignia on here? Any identification numbers? Nope. I don't even know what disc it is, but we have to get some more ground disc up here today. Also, plan on going into town and buying something that is uh, a little important. Something that we need. So, well, I mean, it's, uh, maybe it's not important, but it's important enough to the series. Oh, I should uh, run you through the, the design here a little bit, I suppose. Diesel barrel for fuel. The shop. Those, you know, everything's all that's the same. This bin, you probably noticed, doesn't exist in real life. But the concrete foundation for the bin does. There used to be a bin there. The bin was taken down, but the foundation still remains in real life. Uh, so yeah, we have the full bin there. Paddock system back here. There's, uh, you know, this all needs work yet. There's a uh, well, sheds in these, in these, uh, in these paddocks and things like that. Uh, but then another thing that's different. You probably noticed this fence right here, and and this fence right here. You're probably thinking, man, those fences aren't there. Well, they used to be. For the longest time, they were, uh, for the majority of my life, they were, and we took them out within recent years, within the last, like, three years. Um, so I added it back in. We had a white fence like this right here and right down there like that. So I added that stuff back in. But anyways, we're going to get out in the field, and we're going to get to work here today. Now, let's not go that way, because that'll be a bit of a pain with our, with our dually tracker. It does fit, but it just would be a bit of a pain. And let's find our way back into this field. Now, we're going to go back to the pasture here. I think will probably be the best way for us to go about this. As, if, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you find yourself watching more than one video, then it's a good sign that you enjoy the content and you want to be notified when new videos are posted. So click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. And uh, let's open up that... Ooh, that was close. Open up that gate, see if we can sneak on in here. Now, I am driving oh boy that's a close fit right there just right on over to the top of it let's bring it back this way just a little bit oh boy y'all i don't know Ooh, ooh. oh just barely fits just barely literally didn't have like half an inch on either side yikes bit of a pain to get through these as I was saying, I'm driving with keyboard today because I factory reset my PC and I do not have the wheel working yet. The wheel's on my desk. It just doesn't control it as I just tried right then. So I'll get that fixed in uh, all in good time. But today we're just gonna keyboard cat it. Not a big deal. All right, let's get this vents gate opened up and let's finally get out here and get to work today let's pull right on down the middle right there like that and look at that just barely made it let's clear the fence as well so i can close the gate again looking good close that up perfect so we're back here in our main field this field is going to be soybeans this year and then uh actually i think we might plant entirely soybeans this year what we tend to do on our farm is we plant all over field in one crop. We don't diversify it uh, year after year. Or we do it year after year, but we don't diversify it within the same year. So all land goes to soybeans, and then all land goes to corn. Then all soybeans, all corn, all soybeans, all corn. We don't do partial corn, partial soybeans. Uh, 
that's just uh, that's just how we operate the business. It's a little bit, if, you know, when you when you're figuring out the final product, the final numbers and everything, it just works out better for us that way. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna do all soybeans this year, and then all corn next year is probably what we will do. We'll see how things go. Also, I should add. Like always, we do not have 955 billion, kajillion, gazillion dollars, or 995, rather. Uh, that's just because I'm not finished building the farm yet, as I said previously. Hopefully this farm has come along pretty well. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this little series so far. And uh, I might, once this farm is finished, I might go ahead and public the save game of the farm. Now, you'd have to find the mods yourself to get the mods to work I, because I well maybe I could give away some of the, maybe I could include some of the key mods just like the buildings and the trees perhaps but I have to be careful you might not be able to get the house I have to see what is public and what is not public um, every shed that I'm using to my knowledge is public every building to my knowledge there is public uh, I just don't know about the house which I will assume is public but I don't know on that, so I'll have to double check. But yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll find a way to be able to give you guys this save game and this farm uh, with just the buildings and the trees, and then you can you have to get all the equipment yourself, I think is the way that we would have to do that. But we'll do that whenever the time comes, whenever uh whenever we have this farm completed. Got a lot of work yet to do on a lot of areas of the farm, so not even close to being done. I'm not trying to make the fields look like the de they do in real life, by the way. Just the homestead for the most part. I might make that hay field that we're, we're staring back at right there behind the hay shed. I might make that, make that, you know, I might add some trees similar to how it is in real life, but I don't think I'm going to do any hill like land terraforming just to keep things simple. Um, if I was trying to make all the hills like they are in the real life, it would get it would get far too complicated, and I don't want to deal with that. But anywho, we're gonna just kind of go on through this field here today, and then we are gonna move on to some other tasks as well. Uh, we have some more stuff to buy, some more equipment to buy, so we got a lot to do today. Let's get on into it. Man! <coughs> that entire time, I was trying not to cough, because for some reason my voice is just, is just like painful to speak at the moment. It was like making me want to cough. That was annoying. All right, y'all. It has been quite the day, but we are done with that field. And uh, we're going to move on to the next. That field has completely been plowed up. Took us hours, actually. We started about, what, 10? Yeah, we started at technically at 9 this morning because we started at last episode. And uh, now it is 2... 2.26. Man, you know what? I'm... All right, look, I have I have dyscalculia and numbers. I can't read them, okay? I, they mix up. Like, that up there says 1426, and I read it as, like, like 1246, okay? I just can't. <laughs> so if, whenever, whenever I do that, I don't mean to. <laughs> Anyways, we're done with that field. Now we have that field and that field yet to do. I'm not... Ugh, we have so much more to disc up. But I think what we're going to do is have Dad go do those fields for us. And we are going to get some of the other work done here today. I think we're going to go across the road, though. And we'll actually start with this field over here. Then we're going to hop up in the truck. And then we're going to go in and get some more equipment that we need here on the farm. So let's run over here. But get this uh, all set up for Dad and let him run it. We'll uh, we'll go into town and pick up some more equipment today. All right, there we go. Dad is off to work, getting that field going, and we are gonna run back over here, hop in the truck, run on into town, and pick up some more equipment here today. Uh, actually, we're gonna take the semi instead, and we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna disconnect the trailer. So we can, uh, we can connect back up to that, that equipment hauling trailer that we're leasing. I think that'll make life a little bit easier for us. So let's get on over here. Let's get the Kenworth all fired up, ready to go. 
Let's get on into town. It is 54 degrees outside, and my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'll tell you what. Beautiful, beautiful weather out here today. Let's get on into town, shall we? Oh, by the way, I finally just switched the uh, the game back over to miles per hour. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all because I reset my PC. That's all. That's all that's about. It's fixed now. I know everyone's probably like, oh my gosh, we're going so fast. All right, we are just about up here to the store so we can get connected to the trailer and we're gonna walk in and see what we can buy here today. And while I was driving up in town, I just like, got, I thought to myself, it would be really cool to buy a house in town and do a renovation series, like a little renovation project. I think that would be really, really cool. I don't know how to do it though, uh, but it would be cool. And then I thought to myself, man, now I want to play this game called House Flipper. I'm never going to try, but uh, it's like kind of the whole point of that game. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need to give it a try just in my free time. Anywho, we're... Look at that. Look at that professional level work right there. We're connected, ready to go. I'm going to leave it running. We're just going to walk in and we are going to see what we can buy here today. Automatic gate. I've never seen it close. Huh. All right. We got a few things ordered. <laughs> Just you, uh oh. Well, you know, you will impale your semi with your header trailer from time to time. Or your header. There it is. Okay. So, anything we can load up onto this trailer first and foremost. I think most of the stuff we actually need to just drive down. Uh, but we can load some of it up at least. So, we're gonna get in the little Kubota. And, uh, well, first we actually have to, we have to get the front loader for this Kubota as well. So,. Let's do that real quick. All right, we got that all hooked up. Bucket's a little big, but it'll do. And I think we're also going to just go ahead and hook up to this mower here, and we can hold this all in one go. Let's see if we can get this thing all the way up on top of this, though. Uh, might be a little bit of a steep ask here. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. And... That'll do right about there, we'll call it. Then shut it down. We'll strap it down as well. Ooh, look at that. Strappable. Very neat. And we'll make sure this is all strapped down here as well. Cool, we're ready to roll. Let's get this down to the farm. And then we have a lot more equipment to go yet. I wonder how Dad's doing out in that field as well. We should probably run out there and check on him. Probably a good idea. We'll do that as well. All right, we're rolling down the road to the farm. We're going a little fast out here, but we'll be fine. I wonder if I can see Dad out there anywhere. Do you see him? I don't see him. I don't see him out there. Let's see, where is he at? No, I don't see him. Oh, I missed my time. Oh, well, shoot. Okay. Uh, we need to turn ourselves around. I done missed my turn now. Good job, Jake. That's all right. I wanted to come out here and see the progress Dad was making anyway, so we'll make do with it. It's a tight fit. Where is he at? Hmm, he must be way down there. Where you at, Pa? You gonna make me run all the way back to the back side of the field and find you? Come on now. Well, let's go for a little drive down the... Luckily, we have this pathway here that's intended for getting around the pasture through the field down the outside of it. I don't see him still. Where did he go? Well, shoot. All right. Guess let's take a little off-road trip, shall we? No big deal. Just taking a semi through the field. Spinning in tires. As long as we keep moving, we should be all right. We just can't stop moving. Oh, 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 I see Dad. Is he just sitting down here? No, oh, he might have broke down. Oh, better go see what the deal is then, shouldn't we? Yep. Yep. Boda, you're just going on a little ride through the field today, aren't you? Definitely not what I meant to be doing, but it'll work. Looks like Dad broke down out here. Well, we better hop out and give him a hand. Oh, he didn't break down. He got stuck. He's buried. Look at the tire. Look at look, Dad. What'd you do? Ah, uh, you found a wet spot, didn't he? Jeez. Way to go. Look at this. Look. Found a wet spot and buried her. Come on. You made two passes and you buried the tractor. 
You've got to be kidding me. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we're going to we're going to run back up to the farm and find a way to get him unstuck. That's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you make sure you get a make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all later.